Sana, what can I do? We need your... Deputies, do you? We do require your services. How are you? We do require...
Oui. Clear skies, my friend. We do require... Deputies, do you have anything for the circle? Take a look. Stay in the light, deputies.
Deputies? We do require your service. Look who's here. Care Kiflin's Rising Stars. Clear skies, my friend. We do require your son.
clear skies, my... We do require... We do require... What can I offer? We'd like to stay for...
I think this is what the crown showed me. So not one of the gems? Obviously. Do you feel anything else? I'm afraid not. That's a problem. Let's go back to the council. We have to tell them. Three gems missing? Perhaps they've been destroyed. We tested the first one. It can't be done. They must be magically concealed. So the crown must remain incomplete? Maybe the Sorax have the missing gems. After all, they attacked you more than once. 
They're clearly still after the crown. If you can't find the gems, why keep the crown out there? It'll just keep attracting the Sarax. The attunement, remember? I'm sorry, senior deputies, but despite the attunement, I believe the crown should be secured. And secured by more than four adventurers who spend their nights camped in the Badlands. We can't do that to them. They have served the Council faithfully. Don't be naive. We are facing a major threat. You understand the meaning of sacrifice. And so should they. We've searched the Badlands for these gems. At our own risk. We trusted you to keep your word and leave us the crown. If I may, I think we need more time to consider the situation. More time? How much time? Maybe just give it a night. I could use the day to consult with my people. So could I. Fine then. Anyone against? Thank you, Lord Danantar. The Legacy Council is now adjourned. I have a bad feeling about this. I knew it. They'll take the crown, and never mind what that does to me. This is wrong. We could run. What's the point? We know what's at stake. They're right about one thing. The Sorax will keep coming after us, after the crown. We could retrace our steps, go back to where we found the gems. Perhaps there's a trail we overlooked. There's nothing anymore. I, I can't feel another gem anywhere. Excuse me, senior deputies. Master Shospel. I would advise you to avoid the palace residence tonight. What? Why? I'm not at liberty to say. Just trust me. You have your lodgings at the Gravekeep's Cask. You should spend the night there. What kind of advice is that? Are you really working for the Arcanium? Why else would I be here? This elf is... What do you think? It sounds like a warning. Or a threat. Can we trust him? Trust the new Empire? I have no idea what to do, but I'd like to sleep in a bed tonight. Uh, I miss Carol's beer. <laughs> and Merton's sweet talk. I'd prefer the residence. I like Captain Iron Shell kissing me goodnight. Maybe in your dreams. Clear skies, Advent. We do.
senior deputies. Captain, what's the news? You didn't hear. Your quarters at the residence were ransacked. What? When? During the night. It's lucky you weren't there. Eh? We could have handled a burglar or two. They were more than simple burglars to infiltrate the palace undetected. Who then? I can't say for sure, but some are saying saw a cath. We were supposed to be safe there, remember? I'm well aware. We have put further magical security measures in place. Thank you for keeping us informed, Captain. You are most welcome. Good day to you, senior deputies. It appears Hedlon's sure spell was right. He knew. But how? He's a spy, or something similar. He looks normal to me. That's what spies do. We must decide on our next move. Back to the council, I suppose, and see what they decided. Or we could pay sure spell a visit. Ah, here you are. Do you find our visit surprising, Master Shawspell? No, not at all, since you followed my advice. How do you know that? You're here, alive and unwounded. I heard there was some disturbance at the residence. Is that so? But clearly you're here for business, not small talk. Delegates, please be seated. The Legacy Council is now in session. Chancellor Gorm's daughter has the floor. Thank you, Protector. Honorable Council members, we at the Guild of Antiquarians have come to an agreement regarding the quest for the gems of the Crown of the Magister. We believe that the Crown should be secured and therefore surrendered by its current owners in exchange for a generous payment raised by all parties in the council. You can't. You will wait for your turn to speak, senior deputy. We searched the Badlands for these gems and now you're just taking the crown away from us? Order. We are well aware of your reservations and we understand them. Yet from what I heard, all parties have agreed that you should comply for the security of all. Security? You talk of security? What security? Just last night, Sorax attacked our quarters in the residence. What? Sorax? Here in Kir Kiflin? In the palace? Order! Immediate action is needed. Well, find the damned Sorax then. Please, my lords. You! Where are your paladins? Where are your wizards and their divination spells? Stop it! None of this is helping! Lord Sunblaze, you're supposed to be neutral here. Someone must introduce a formal request. Right. <laughs> Apologies. You're right. Let's vote. Only senior members, please. Those for securing the crown, say aye. 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 Hmm. Nay. Nay. Well, we have a majority. We'll help you with the attunement issue. Whoa, whoa, wait! Who's gonna take the crown? And where? Well, the most secure location would be... The Temple of Aenar, of course. The Hearth. Of course! Right here in Kerr Kiflin. Neutral ground, of course. But still, the Principality of Masgarth is the center of Celasta. Do you have a better idea, Dean Fasek? 
We have secure locations, too. How many high-ranking paladins in your tower, Fasek? More than actual wizards in your school. Order! Remember the dignity of your positions, my lords. Senior deputies, if you please. The council has spoken. You keep bickering instead of looking for the traitor among you. This is a grave accusation, senior deputy. Thank you, honored delegates. The council is now in recess. How could they? It can't end like this. I can hear it calling. Senior deputies, please, a word. Summer, what do you want? Your Chancellor led the charge against us in there. I'm truly sorry, but I have some information that might interest you. I doubt it. It's about the secret cult of Arivad. What? I admit, this is second-hand intelligence, but still... Speak up. One of my people saw a man with a tattoo. The letter A? Yes. He followed the man all day, and to a gathering that night, in a remote village to the south. What village? It's called Eircorn. Very small, but you'll find it easily on any local map. Thank you, Halman. You're welcome. Someone must take care of these cultists. And the council, well, you know. Yes, we do. I'm so sorry. Why? You didn't betray us. I understand how they see things, but... Something's wrong with the Council. The Council's still young. Everyone is angling for influence. But squabbling academics are better than clashing armies. Only Egertine supported us. I mean, beside you. Why would the new Empire be the only friend we have in there? Egertine's a moderate, it's true. But the new empire is subtle. Plans within plans. It's hard to say whether he was following orders or voting his conscience. I wouldn't read too much into his vote, at least for now. It didn't change anything, anyway. But what about you? How are you coping without the crown? Better than I expected. Same for me, actually. It almost feels like we still have the crown. Exactly. We lost its magical power, but the voice is still calling. Interesting. So the attunement is unaffected by physical separation? Keep the crown safe, Marshal, will you please? You have my word. 